phone connected. Hey tribe, another episode of Coaching on Wheels on a beautiful October Sunday. The weather is excellent for a mountain ride with my buddies and I thought why not making an episode doing two things I like the most coaching and riding today I want to talk about why every business owner should know how to interpret their numbers their finance figures how many of you can read and interpret your income statement or your profit and loss statement, your balance sheet, your cash flow statement? Or are you like the majority of business owners, they don't read them and if they read them, they don't know how to interpret the numbers and they wait for their auditors to tell them uh, if their financials are okay. And so many times we, I, I did uh, those income statements with their accountants and found out that this month or this quarter they were losing money while they were under the impression that they made profits. So the income statement should be reviewed monthly and you should be able to interpret in the income statement your revenue for the period, your gross profit, your contribution margin, your overheads, and then your EBIT, earnings before interest and tax. If you don't know how to interpret those numbers, like to like and for the period, and to make sense out of them, like the contribution margin for example, I ask business owners, what's your contribution margin? And they say, what is contribution margin? Well, I, I tell them it's, it's easy. This is when you divide your gross profit by your total revenue for the period and you multiply by 100. You will get a ratio. That ratio, it means for every dollar you generate from your business, there are cents remaining that will contribute to your overhead. This is why it is called the contribution ratio. And after deducing and after deducting overheads, what is left is contributing to your profit. So there you go, you need to first make sure your accountant and your auditor are helping you generate those financial statements you being able to interpret them if not watch a YouTube video or read a small book financials for non-financial people for example or those dummy series and start making sense of your numbers because as I always say in business like in sports if you don't know the score you will not be able to improve the score so until then, I will let you enjoy the ride like usual. Hope you benefited today and keep on learning. Till then. <laughs>